Hi, how are you? Hope you're well. So today I am here to continue the Light Lark series and I will be reading the sequel of the what I believe is a duology, Nightbane. So if you're looking for my original thoughts on Light Lark, I read it in my hairdresser recommends video. So if you want to know that, I would recommend go checking that video out. I go into quite a bit of detail, but I believe it's spoiler free. I will probably make this spoiler free as well, but as always, if it's spoilers, it will be in the title. So I actually just started to Nightbane this morning and I'm only about two-ish chapters, maybe three, into the book. I'm listening to the audiobook. I was very excited to continue on with the series but I'm realizing that I should have reread Lightlark because I do not remember what is happening at all. The intro does luckily have quite a few reminders of what happened I guess you could say where she kind of just like talks about it like oh yeah when I did this thing and now this is happening so the reminders are very pleasant and as I'm listening to it I'm remembering bits and pieces of it how Ever. I do think the fact that I don't remember anything that happened in Light Lark is going to make this an easy read for me. I am excited though because I actually quite liked L Light Lark. That is such a difficult name. Like she should not have named it that. I'm so sorry. But I quite liked book one. I thought it was fun. It definitely wasn't like the best fantasy that I'd ever read but I thought it was fun and I definitely do want to reread the duology back to back, pay more attention, give it its space type of thing. So I never really got the hate. I get why it's not like put on a pedestal I guess you can say and I can see the critiques of it here and there but in general I just thought it was a really fun fantasy. Book two definitely kind of seems that way. I forgot how dramatic the main character is just like a little bit like even being just a couple of chapters into it it's like we just we just met you for a second time. Calm down. But you know, like, she says it's valid. I don't remember what happened in book one, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm only like 8% into the book right now. So far, things are looking good. I'm definitely lost and I'm hoping it gets better as I read it, but I'm definitely enjoying it. And I don't know, again, like I said in the first one, this series to me gives me the same feelings that I felt when I was reading like vampire books on Wattpad where the, the world is just very vivid in my brain and it's like serious enough to the point where there are stakes and you're invested, but it's silly enough and unserious enough to the point where you can just have a good time. It's not anything major, but I'm gonna go read some more. I'm excited. I don't know. I've never really understood the hate for this book, so we'll see and hopefully I remember more. Hi, so I'm back. I am 65-ish percent. I don't know exactly where I'm at because I did read a little bit more before filming this, but before reading I was at 65, so I'm gonna guess I'm maybe at like 67, but between there somewhere. And I have a lot of thoughts. So I'm just gonna like dive straight into it. Light Lark was more fun. In this book, I find the main character just very unlikable and I can't really pinpoint my finger on it. I don't really remember what she was like in book one because I still really don't remember book one. So that is unfortunate, but I'm just not liking her that much. Because the thing is, in the past timeline, because it's dual timeline, in the past timeline, I cannot understand any of the choices she makes. She's being really, really stupid and I just I can't see the full process like I don't mind so much when characters are being stupid if I can like understand why they're doing what they're doing but I don't understand why she's doing anything she's doing in the boss timeline I'm just seeing dumb decision after dumb decision is really annoying second of all I don't know if this is on purpose or not but I don't know who to root for if you're watching this I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible but I'm assuming that you've read book 
one. So at the end of book one, we realize it's a love triangle between Aru and Grimm. I think his name's Aru. I don't remember. But it's a love triangle. And I don't know who we're supposed to root for. Like, that's not very clear. Because, like, I like both. I have a feeling she's gonna end up with Grimm, not Aru. But I don't know who I'm meant to, like, root for or go for. Or if we're meant to like both. But they're just supposed to be polar opposites and appeal to opposite sides of her. I'm not sure. Sure. But that's making me a little anxious. I hate love triangles. I hate not knowing who the person she's gonna end up with is. It's just... And honestly, it's kind of bland, I guess. I don't know. And then the final thing that really, 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 really bothers me is that this is a YA book, but I don't think this is appropriate for YA, like, at all. I think book one was pretty appropriate for YA, but book two does not feel YA at all. I feel like it's very much pushing, like, 17 plus, and YA is supposed to be appropriate for 14 to 18, and that kind of bothers me. Because I understand how YA can be written for or more the 14 year old side or like the 18 year old side and that's fine but this is pushing the limits a lot because like there are torture scenes and i'm not going to say how when where why or who but there's a scene where someone gets like their chest carved and it's like described it's not described in like excessive detail but you can infer what is happening and it is gross and I don't I if I had a 14 or 15 year old like cu I do have a 14 13 year old cousin and I don't think I would recommend reading this series to her at all because I don't think it would be appropriate for her but she's in the age range that this is written for like I would tell her to read this maybe at like 16 to 17 but even like 16 is kind of pushing it just a little bit but yeah I don't think it's appropriate for YA because like there is torture and described pretty heftily and there's a lot of it that was just one of many scenes and then the second thing is that there is one spicy scene at so far in this point there's one spicy scene again i won't say with who when where why how but there is a spicy scene you know how you get open door and closed door i think closed door can be okay for ya because it's kind of just inferred that it's happening and i think it can be happening in kind of an educational sense if that makes sense where it's just like it's shown like oh yeah like be safe about to do it with someone that you like respect and care for and someone who you can trust whatever whatever right so i do think that there can be quote unquote spice in ya books and it can be done well but it needs it it shouldn't be spice you know it shouldn't be smut it shouldn't be spice it just is a sex scene that happens that is not described at all but like you just know it happened it's closed door it's it's there you know it's happening but it's not described it's not inappropriate because the audience once again is 14 to 18 years old the way i would describe this spicy scene is it's open door but they're fully under the covers if that makes sense so it's like you can't really see anything but like you can see the movement you can you know basically what's going on you just don't have the full view of it because they're under the blanket and i don't think that's appropriate at all for ya again i would not recommend this to my 13 turning 14 year old cousin because i don't think she's old enough to be reading about under the blanket spice scenes like it's not a ya book and i really hate that they market it as a ya and she was like allowed to write this for young adults because I genuinely don't think it was appropriate. It's kind of the same as Check and Mate where a lot of people felt that the spicy scenes weren't appropriate for YA and I think those were more appropriate than what happened in this book because so far there is only one spice scene i hope that's the only one but i don't think it's appropriate at all and that's like really really grinding my gears and making me angry and that's making me not like this book because again if you're like 17 18 maybe even 16 reading this i don't think it's that big of a deal because you're kind of old and mature enough to be reading things like that you know and it's not like direct spice so it's not the worst but the fact that this is marketed not as new adult but as young adult and therefore 13 to 15 year olds are going to be reading this and it's like you shouldn't be reading about torture and spice it's way too described like again you know exactly what's going on reading that scene so i'm not liking this book i'm not anticipating this to be a good rating or review because especially with my irks with it and it being marketed as ya when it's not appropriate for ya i'm angry 
so unfortunately that's where i'm at i hope maybe it redeems itself a little bit but so far the next 40 ish percent is going to be a little tough to get through and i'm not liking it and i'm very disappointed because again i i enjoyed book one book one was fun but book two is letting me down so i guess we'll see i will talk to you when i have finished this book but it's not good it's not good hi so i finished and clearly the title of this video was thought of post filming slash at this point of filming because this book is not okay at all and i am so incredibly disappointed that it's actually kind of incredible i gave this book a 1.75 stars and that was being generous in my opinion because i quite enjoyed the plot of the book much like light lark that is a tongue twister try saying that five times fast but much like light lark the actual plot of the story was pretty interesting i was intrigued i enjoyed my time with it and ends on a cliffhanger don't know if i'm going to be picking up the third book if i do it will be because i want to know who she ends up with because it is a love triangle and then how the conflict gets resolved where does it go whatever whatever however like i said i am very disappointed and you've read the title so you know what i'm going to talk about this book is not a ya book and the fact that this book is ya is an actual crime and i do feel i'm a good reference point for this commentary because one i was reading fan fiction at 12 13 years old unbeknownst to me a lot of them did have smut and spice written by other 12 to 13 year olds and i should not have been reading those at the time i was not old enough to be reading it and the people writing it were not old enough to be writing it but that that is a different story for a different day point is i was not old enough i know now that i wasn't old enough and i also have a 13 year old cousin so i know what is appropriate for a 13 year old because i can read a book and think to myself would i recommend this to her first and foremost before anyone like defends this book in any kind of way i googled it and asked what age racing is night bane and google said 13 years and older and if i can find the screenshot i'll put it up here but Again, I googled it and according to Google and the like official age rating, it is a YA book appropriate for 13 year olds. If that is the case, why are there four spicy scenes in this book? And it's like full on spicy scenes. It's not nearly as vulgar as adult romances, but you know exactly what is going on. She just doesn't name the parts of the body that are being touched or played with or whatever. Literally, one of the quotes from one of the love interests to her is something along the lines of, I want to take you against a rock on the beach while you write in pleasure beneath me. That is not appropriate for a child to read. I am incredibly angry about this. And listen, I just want to say, if you start off writing a YA book, and then choose to up the age rating, that's fine. If you start off with YA and then decide, no, I wanna write spicy scenes, and then you do that, that is fine. But then the entire series is age racing needs to be changed to new adult or just fully adult so that the appropriate audience reads it. This is not appropriate for a 13, 14 year old, maybe even 15 year old. I'd say the youngest that should read this is probably maybe 16, 16 to 17, where you actually kind of know a lot more about spice but yeah and it just really really made me angry because i read check and mate i enjoyed it they do talk about sex a lot and it's a very sex positive book and there are quote unquote spicy scenes in it however they're all fade to black closed door it's just mentioned that that happens i've heard people say that they don't think it's appropriate for ya they think there's too much of that in there which i can see i don't fully agree with that because nothing is like explicitly shown at least from what i can remember if it's explicitly shown i change my mind on that point is i don't think that it's wrong or inappropriate to talk about topics like that in a ya book because 
kids need to learn about it and if it is spoken about in more of an educational sense or just like hey 16 year olds are doing this 15 year olds are doing this 18 year olds are doing this that is fine you know but this is not written in an educational oh this is just the relationship they have type of way this is written in a spicy way this is written for the people who read YA books and complain that there aren't spice in it even though they picked up a YA book and therefore it should not have spice in it that's what this book is written for it's written for those people and that makes me so incredibly angry that like i'm finding it actually kind of difficult to keep my composure right now because it's just and the thing is listen i was reading this type of content when i was younger i shouldn't have been but i was i didn't even know what spice was like literally the first time i read spice i was shocked that it could be written about you know but at the end of the day again i was 12 13 years old writing fan fictions that were written by other 12 13 year olds the author is a grown adult who should know better if you are writing a book for 13 year olds make it appropriate for 13 year olds i don't care that the age rating is 13 to 18 if you're going to be writing to 18 year olds put it in the adult section there are tons of 16 17 18 year olds that read adult romances and adult fantasies just like how there are a ton of grown adults who choose to read YA. The point is, if you're writing to an 18-ish year old audience, target that audience. If you're writing to young adult, you are targeting 13 through 18 year olds. And that is the part that like upsets me, you know? A 13 year old can watch a movie that is rated for like 16, 17, 18 plus with like parental guidance or whatever, or just unbeknownst to anybody. That movie is not made for 13 year olds. An 18 year old can watch a movie made for 13 year olds, but that movie is going to be made for 13 year olds. It's going to be appropriate for 13 year olds. You're not going to see spicy scenes in a movie made for 13 year olds. So why is it okay for books? Why is it okay for books? It's not. If she wanted to write spice, change the book racing. Don't make it for 13 year olds. It was literally that easy. Just make it an adult fantasy, but they didn't want to do that. And that part is just as you can probably tell, I'm still very angry. I only finished this book yesterday or the day before. I don't even know, but the point is I'm angry and upset and I don't think it's okay at all in the slightest. It's not okay. It's not fine. And I haven't, I haven't seen a single review talk about it. I haven't really watched any YouTube or TikTok videos. So I'm hoping that I'm not the only one talking about it. And I hope that there is a much bigger, more influential account somewhere, at least putting this out there, because I don't think it's okay. And it makes me very, very angry and genuinely upsets me so much to the point where I don't want to read the third book. Like I said, if I do choose to, it will be because I would like to know the plot resolution and I would like to know the solution to the love triangle and just to see if she learned her lesson and chose to not write Spice or up the age rating. But you know, that is very much up in the air. That will be decided whenever the book comes out or after. But I'm I'm severely disappointed. I'm incredibly angry and genuinely I think that labeling this book as YA is very irresponsible on the author, the editor, the publisher, whoever makes that decision. I think it's very irresponsible and it should not be allowed or okay. And I hope more people say things about this because again, the only thing is none of the body parts that are being are named and mentioned. You know exactly what is going on. It is very clear. And there's even like toned down dirty talk, which is not okay for 13 year olds to read in this slices at all whatsoever. But I'm going to stop going on about it because I'm gonna start making the same points over and over and over again. Would I recommend this book? No, I would not recommend this book. I would not recommend this series purely because of how irresponsible they're being with it. If you still want to pick it up, get it through your library or if you really want physical copies, buy them secondhand, you know, use bookstores or through like Pango Books or something. But yeah, definitely just keep that in mind if you do choose to read it beyond this point. But yeah, I'm upset. I'm unhappy. This is not how I thought this video would go and I'm very upset by it. But unfortunately, there's nothing thing I can do about it. If you have read this book, let me know your opinions on the whole spicy scenes thing. Like, do you think I'm being overdramatic? Because I don't. Do you agree with me? Please tell me you agree with me.
me. But yeah, just let me know what you think. If you like me or my videos, I would really appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.